Hi, I'm Rob Taylor, and welcome to my household where Mary and I have lived for many, many years here in Charleston, and Kiri grew up in this house, and today we're going to present to you the first ever Taylor Music Group Bach and Eggs Brunch Online. We have an array of performers who are going to perform some of your favorite arias and some of your favorite folk songs. We've got some instrumental music, but we also have brunch. So today I'm going to make brunch for Mary and I, and I've got, we're going to make French toast over here. I've got some beautiful Beyond Sausage plant-based links here. We've got some gorgeous veg over here, some Christmas spices, and of course, you can't have brunch in Charleston without a beverage. So I've got my delicious Westbrook Mexican cake stout that I'll be sipping on for the rest of this morning. Our first performer is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful soprano. She's been with the Taylor Festival Choir for five years. This is Grace Call. Good morning, friends of Taylor Music Group. My name is Grace Call. I'm a soprano originally from Queens, New York. Right now I am in Iowa um, based off of this very nondescript room. You probably couldn't tell that, but um, I am in Iowa, in Pella, which is this really cute little Dutch town, um, and staying with my fiance's sister and her husband. So we are kind of holding up a little bit before we head back to his parents' house. And uh, yeah, so, you know, just hanging out quarantine style. Got my coffee, got some banana bread with chocolate chips in it. It's real good. So um, I thought I would sing some Lori's song for you. Uh, this is from the Tenderland. So I hope you enjoy. Oh, it's so strange. 
As you can see, I've started chopping up my vegetables here. We're gonna probably make more broccoli than we can eat in one meal, but we're leaving in a week to go to the Mayo Clinic, so I'm gonna go ahead and make it all, and we're gonna make it up today. Um, our next performer is none other than my beautiful wife, Mary Taylor. Oh, hey there. So now I am going to put a copious amount of olive oil in this and we're, we're preheating our oven over there so that when we go to put the vegetables in, they can be cooking while I'm doing some of this other stuff. I love olive oil. And these are going to turn out to be delicious and wonderful. Just like you're going to find our next soprano to be this is Sarah Law singing one of the most famous arias that's ever been. Enjoy. All right. Hi there. My name is Sarah Lucille Law. I am a soprano one in the roster of TFC. And today, Rob did ask us to kind of prepare a little brunch something or other while we sang an aria for you all. And I kind of mulled over for a bit what I wanted to make. And then I realized that nothing would really be as true to myself as making a cup of coffee. <laughs> this is the most important meal of the day for me, as I'm sure it is for a lot of other people, but I mean, I, I really need this stuff. So um, today we're going to make an iced latte, and I'm going to sing Una Voce Poco Fa in the key of F from Rossini's The Barber of Seville. Let's get to it. <clears throat> Important. Una voce poco fa, qui nel cor mi risuono, il mio cor ferito è già.
Cycle this. Sounded okay. I'm gonna clean that up. Nothing like listening to Una Voce Poco Fa, sung by Sarah Law, in the morning, drinking some Mexican cake stuff. It's time for us to get our veg in the oven. I'm almost done. Thankfully, that Aria gave me time to chop up most of the veg. Here, I'm just cutting some sweet potatoes into some nice thin slices. If you cut them up nice and thin, when you stick them in the oven, they're gonna come out nice and crispy and you don't have to cook them before you've cooked everything else. They're gonna turn out to be fantastic. I like to just chop them up a little bit so that they're not so big when they go in there. So, and move over here. We're almost done. As you can see, I've got all my I've got all my Christmas colors. This year, Mary and I decided that we're going to celebrate Christmas the whole year round. That's not gonna shock anybody. And you can probably see some Christmas decorations around the house if you look very carefully. So, now that we've got all these in, I'm gonna put on some, put some more olive oil on. Kind of drench it. I always like to say these veggies are thirsty. And I can hear some of you guys out there going, 
Yeah, Mary Taylor's actually doing all the work during the breaks. No, she is not. This is a completely Rob Taylor meal, for better or for worse, maybe for worse, but whatever it is, it's all gonna be me. So, this next tune, um, as I put some spice on these, we're gonna put a little cinnamon on, cinnamon, is um, a tune that we learned listening to our wonderful friend, John Doyle, when he was with Solace. It's called A Miner's Life. And um, it literally talks about the miners' union and making sure they're not being cheated. And um, when John first came to town, Kiri and I actually had a chance to sing this with him. So today, we have the most wonderful person in the world singing this song for you. And of course, I am talking about my daughter, Kiri Taylor. This is her singing A Miner's Life. A miner's life is like a sailor's Aboard a ship across the waves Every day his life's in danger Still he ventures, be and brave Watch the rocks, they're falling daily Careless miners often fail Keep your hand upon your wages And your eyes upon the scale Union miners stand together Do not heed the cold tales Keep your hand upon your wages And your eye upon the scale You've been docked and docked again, boys. You've been loading three to one. What you've to show for your work and when your mining days are done. Worn out shoes and worn out miners, black and lungs and faces fail. Keep your hand upon your wages and your eye upon the scale. Union miners stand together. Do not eat the coal board stills. Keep your hand upon your wages and your eye upon the scale. In conclusion, bear in memory, keep this watchword in your mind. A worker's strength cannot be broken when in union we combine. Stand up tall and stand together. Victory for you prevails. Keep your hand upon your wages and your eye upon on the scale union miners stand together do not heed the gold board scales keep your hand upon your wages and your eye upon the scale okay now it comes to one of my favorite parts we are going to saute up some of these delicious sauces, specifically two. Probably a little bit too high in heat. Now for those of you who are not vegetarian, you would normally eat real sausages, but Mary and I have kind of happily drifted into a vegetarian lifestyle. And so these beyond meat or Beyond Sausage products have been, a, have been heaven sent for us. Now our next performer is someone who lives in Cincinnati. He sings with us as often as he can. He's also a whiz at putting together um, technological things and the, the online choir um, segment that we offered earlier, the cyber choir of the TFC singing The Road Home, and if you haven't seen that, you need to go see it. Stephen put that together. But Stephen's also a wonderful singer. This is Stephen Hannah. Oh. 
This show is called Bach and Eggs, and uh, we couldn't legitimately call that without offering you some Bach, so while my sausages are still cooking here, we're going to show you a segment from our performance of the Bach B minor Mass that we did back last year. This is the Cum Santo Spiritu. It's, it's a doozy, so fasten your seatbelts. says so. We're going to test it out. Mmm. Get one of these sweet potatoes. Mmm. 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 I'm just going to turn the oven off. I'm going to let those sit there for a minute. And I'm going to go over here and we've got to start making the French toast. So, now what you just heard was of course one of the great musical moments in the history of music. And who would argue that a well-made French toast is one of the great moments in the history of brunches, right? I've been promised myself to practice cracking eggs 
with one hand. But I mean, to do that, you have to have like practice eggs, right? So I can't do that. But I like to use four eggs because we're going to wind up using four pieces of toast. This is Rocky Mountain sourdough that we get from Whole Foods. Delicious stuff. And then I think of just a little bit of almond milk. And I pour it in there. And then you just whisk it all up. Where's my fork? Now, this next singer has been singing with the Taylor Festival Choir for a long time, since she was a freshman in college. Um, my wife and my daughter have already played, so they're my real family. But this young lady, as many of you know, is like family. And uh, she's going to sing an aria for you today. Her name is Corey Miller. So now it's time to make the French toast. So I've got my egg and my almond milk mixture, and I just like to drench it in that, and then very carefully lay it over here and let it cook. Turn that fan off. Our next performers are people that have been performing with us for years. You'll know them from their performances with Nafid Larry. This is Corinne McQuaid and Andre Raffield. Sean Ryan's Jake and Forrest Wedding.
So you've had a, a nice little sojourn into the folk world. Now we're going to go back to the world of opera, but this is kind of a tongue-in-cheek piece about a certain basso profundo who can sing low C. Before we go to that, check out my last piece of toast here. It's looking gorgeous. Look at all that egg there. It's going to be awesome. This is Chris Mitchell singing basso profundo sings low C. Hi, TFC family. I'm Chris Mitchell from Murray, Kentucky, where I teach at Murray State University. Um, I thought some levity would be helpful during this crazy time, so I learned a new song uh, called When Big Profundo Sang Low C. It's by George Botsford, and we're going to do it a cappella. There was a great big man in the town of Cumberland with a voice as loud as thunder. And in his own hometown, and for many miles around, he was known to everyone as Big Profundo. When he sang a song, though his voice was big and strong, it was full of sympathy. And of him tis said that he woke up all the dead when he sang down to Lossy. When Big Profundo sang Lossy, all the ladies they would quiver for the great big note that came from his throat seemed to make the timber shiver. He could make you cry, he could make you sigh with a simple melody. For he sang with a will and your heart stood still when Big Profundo sang low sea way down, down to low. See. Stay safe, everybody. So everything's done, and now we've plated it. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. We've got the vegetable. We've got the sausage. We've got the French toast. We're going to add some syrup. We don't have much syrup left, and it's going to be unbelievably good. Unbelievably good. Just like this next musical, musical piece is going to be, it's one of the all-time hits Omi Ababino Caro with Marina Hogue. Hi, Taylor Music Group. My name is Marina Hogue, and I am a soprano living in New York, although right now I'm in Florida at my mother's house. I hope everybody is staying safe and healthy. Today I will be singing Cuando Me Vol from La Boheme. I hope you enjoy it.
was good. And now we have the exquisite Emily Henson closing out our brunch for us. So let's all raise a glass as she sings the classic Celtic drinking song, The Parting Glass. Oh, for the money that e'er I've spent, I've spent it in good company. And all the harm that e'er I've done, alas, it was to none but me. that e'er I've had They're sorry for my going away And all the sweethearts that e'er I've had Would wish me one more day to stay But since it falls unto my lot that I should rise and you should not. I'll gently rise and I'll softly call. Good night and joy be with you all. Good night and joy be with you. I don't know why I would ever think to sing on this program, considering we've had all these great singers already, and I certainly won't measure up. But there's a song I've known since I was a boy that I really think is appropriate and gives us all some hope in this time in which we all find ourselves. There is a palm in Gilead to make the wounded whole. There is a palm in Gilead to heal the suffering soul. Sometimes I feel discouraged and think my work's in vain. But then the Holy Spirit revives my soul Again, there is a bond in Gilead to make the wounded whole. suffering soul. If you cannot preach like Peter, if you cannot pray like Paul, you can tell the love of Jesus who died 
for love of us all. Thank you so much for joining us for this Bach and Eggs Brunch Online. It's been a blast putting together. These have been trying times, and I'd like to leave you with a little quote that I usually use in the College of Charleston Madrigal Dinners, but I just can't resist using it again. I salute you. There is nothing I can give you that you have not. But there is much, while I cannot give, you can take. There is no peace that lies in our future that does not lie hidden in this present instant. Take peace. There is no heaven that comes to us unless our hearts find rest in it today. Take heaven. And so I bid all of you, to go back out into the world as we reopen society, wear your masks, wash your hands, take care of yourself and others, and show everyone love and everything you do. You've certainly shown the Taylor Music Group love, and we love you right back. Thanks for joining us today. Namaste and slancha.